right, Drew Matten. Drew, first off, I don't know if you paid attention to the NCAA tournament this weekend. I, I know you were here in Youngstown, but uh, I interviewed three Wolverines yesterday who are all Americans, also all freshmen, yeah. going to be your teammates next year. Uh, does that get you excited about heading into Michigan? Yeah, um, with Logan, uh, Masa, Hamid, and Michik, uh, Michik. Plus, you have uh, Abinator, Kuhn, and Pantaleo coming back. Um, it's, I mean, it's definitely on the up and up. Coming here, you know, and, and uh, being a role model for kids, that's kind of like what they're doing. They want the guys to, you know, you're a three time Ohio State champion, um, Team USA member before in the past. Um, Fargo champ. Never a Fargo champ? Never, Fargo. Never a Fargo champ. Hold on. Never a Fargo champ, but you're one of the top ranked guys in the country. How many times did you win this tournament? Zero. Who Zero else? Uh, any other guys that took maybe third at 133 pounds yesterday from Ohio State that never won this tournament? Nathan Tomasello. Na Nathan Tomasello never won this tournament. This tournament's a hammer tournament. Yeah. Um, who did you wrestle in the quarters, semis, and finals of this tournament whenever you wrestled in it? I wrestled uh, Noah Boffman my sixth grade year. And maybe second round, maybe third round. Uh, Seth Hogue, he's out of Bucknell right now. Um, and then I lost to Joey Bowen in the final of my sixth grade year. Um, seventh grade year, I know I wrestled with Stickley, JD Stickley. I wrestled uh, Jaden Maddox. I wrestled, um, who else I wrestled? And then my eighth grade year, I wrestled Mitch Moore, Brezovic, Ryan, Jerry Donahue. Um, those guys are all really good. Yeah, my sixth grade year, we were just looking at the brackets, and uh, there was 18 state titles won my sixth grade year. That's incredible. You know, looking at the depth of the tournament, this is tougher to win, obviously, than the high school state tournament because it's all one division. Yeah. You know, um, I really wish we could do that, you know, in, in the Ohio State tournament. But um, looking at this tournament, coming here, giving back to kids, being a role model, what's that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I remember when I was uh, in, in middle school, and uh, I'm, I'm almost positive uh, my VIP was uh, Danishek and maybe uh, Micah Jordan, I think it was. So those guys are out of the NCAA right now, and they're doing, doing big things. So it's just nice to, well, I can reflect back on that, and hopefully I'm one of the, uh, hopefully you're talking to the middle schooler in the next few years and they're talking about me. Uh, you know, knowing that Ohio is one of the richest traditions, we had the most All-Americans this yeah, year. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, Pennsylvania had four champs, though. Yeah. You know, and that's always the battle back and forth. And, you know, you're always battling against PA guys. I know D'Amelio is always battling against PA guys to get on those world teams. Yeah. Fargo, wherever you are. How healthy has that competition been for you growing up? Yeah. And, um, and how much better has it made you? It's great. Um, my dad puts together the uh, AAU teams to go out to Tennessee. And I can remember always wrestling uh, Penn PA in the finals, or PA for third, I mean, it's always, uh, and then we wrestled with my cadet duels, junior duels, we always wrestle with PA guys. Uh, you're going to Michigan, it has one of the best facilities, not in the country, literally in the world. You know, the Bonnet facility is amazing. Joe McFarland says, um, you know, what am I, what are you looking for when you're looking for a Michigan man? He said, we got a guy in the semifinals tonight. He, he mentioned you. You're the, you're the guy, you're the role model, you're the standard for what they're looking for in a recruit. Um, you know, and I asked you this last week. Does that sink in that you're a Michigan man yeah. and that you're going to be a leader and potentially look to as a role model there? Yeah, no, it's definitely exciting. Um, like you said earlier, watching those three, reg three freshmen uh, All-American high uh, place high. Um, it's exciting just to go and get in their room and uh, work towards my goal. Make an impact? Yeah, make an impact. Red shirt right away or Russell? Or don't they tell you yet? I'm not sure. Whatever they tell you? Whatever they tell me. Alright, uh, there's a Matt in the finals today. Matt in the finals. Which one's that? Uh, Zach. What, where's he in the stepping? The third. Okay, listen, it literally looks like the same dude. Just, just step down, yeah. step down. Yeah. It looks like you. But what's he, 78 pounds? 78, yeah. He looks like you in a 78 pound body and face and head and everything. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, got anything else for me? Uh, yeah. All right, man, it's always good to talk to you. Hopefully we'll see you in Cleveland next year wearing uh, maize and blue and helping the Wolverines get a trophy. Hey, thanks for your time, buddy. Yeah, thank you.